also my question to you a little bit about like your career and getting into this industry was vine like the very beginning yes so vine was the very beginning so in 2013 i got fired from uh my job as a mover we love a firing story. yeah yeah so Did i you go to college no i i went to i went to community college for two years mm-hmm. but i never even got like a community college certificate oh wow like i never did that so i have i have a like a 12th grade education yeah you know a lot i of mean pe- let's be honest college is just a holding cell like i didn't learn anything in yeah but like the thing though that i do wish that I, I that i went to college before i get back to like the my my journey <laughs> um <laughs> before i get back to my journey um what's <laughs> your character development yeah my character development and when motives. when i got there um I was never really good in school, but I was more afraid of failing than actually trying. Oh, so you never applied yourself. So I never applied myself. So like when I had to take, did you guys take the Regents? Yeah. So like in New York, they have these standardized test, uh, standardized testing called the Regents. And I would always do well on like those. Like if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't you even failed. take it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is this what a standardized Regents is? They were like, yeah, dude, you failed already. <laughs> They're like just they, ha- hang in the back by the big fan. <laughs> Remember they put you, they put you in a gym and put when one of those. They put those fucking big ass mega fans in there into an entire gymnasium. I'm like this will cool off three hundred children, right? I'm like, no, dude, we're all gonna die in here. <laughs> and it just sounds like the electricity is <sighs> like. <laughs> It's like, hey guys, come take a really important test in a in a gym that's seven hundred degrees with this one big ass Darth Vader fan going off. You need to give out like the Disney spritz <laughs> things with like water. You give one to each kid. Those little fucking spinny fans that like Italian grandmas use at Jones Beach. When you're done, you get a turkey leg. And- yeah, that's pretty much. So like. For me, I never I always had a problem that I don't want people to see me fail. Uh so I wouldn't even try. Mm-hmm. I'd rather be like, dude, you could have done this mm-hmm. than like try it mm-hmm. and fail. That was my life. Yeah, which is kind of like the ultimate way to fail. For sure. Yeah. You don't realize it at the time. It's but very it's, class clown. Yeah, it is. It's very class clown. And then the th- the real reason why I wish I went to college was because Let's vagina. See? See? Like, <laughs> Dude, I hang around guys way too right? much. Right? You're like fucking mad pussy, right? No, but that's what I meant by it's a holding cell. I really feel like you're not ready to be put into the real world. So they give you four years to like do work, but you're really just like experimenting socially and figuring out stuff. Yeah, whoever whoever came up with the idea of sleepaway college is awesome. Yeah, they were a virgin. They're like, hey, guess what? Like, yeah, they were. They were like, you know, it'd be cool. If we made us <laughs> like a place where you went to school and your parents paid for it, and all you did was drink and fuck. It's literally a practice time, like before you're fully adults. Oh yeah, to be like, it's it's glamorized sleepaway camp that's very expensive. One hundred percent. The only reason I I wish I went to college, like sleepaway college, is because I think it would have helped me socially. Yeah, I think it would have helped me uh, mature also yes uh because when you're sleeping with the, your brother i lived i lived in the same room as my brother oh. with twin beds until we were 24 years old yeah 20 23 but it made you who you are today it did it did but like i think there was a lot of stuff that i would have learned uh yes. about individuality yes about yourself and how For you sure. handle certain types of adversity like being dropped off at the wrong frat party but <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, no, that's, little casual things like that's that. That's a big thing. And and that's the only reason I went to college. I never wish that, oh, I went and wish I got a degree in phys ed or yeah. like nothing against phys ed. I think yeah. it's a great job. It's just not for yeah, me. Yeah, it's not a tech no, no, no. physical education. I think physical education is one of the like most unrecognized oh, positions sure. in any schooling. People think people get phys ed jobs and it's easy. That shit's My not. My grandpa it's hard. was a top phys ed teacher in the city of New York. See? There it is. Um... I, I'm obsessed with virality. I like love when people go viral and how they do it. When you first started Vine, what made you like the app? What made you start it? And what was your ascendancy? So, Is that a word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay. Like you said. I mean, well, you didn't go to college. I don't yeah, know why yeah, I'm yeah, asking yeah. you. So, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when you're jobless, <laughs> uh, when you have no money... <laughs> 
and no hope no hope really honestly if we're if we're being honest like i didn't really have a lot of plans or hope for my life right i had no job and my friends always said i was funny so i was like you know i i feel that i i, I enjoy that that I, I enjoy that uh that camaraderie and also the feedback that i get from it and the thing that drew me to vine was that there was no celebrities on it so I said, you know what, like, this is like a cool community building area mm. where it's not going to be oversaturated with Kardashians mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, or, you know, actors. Like promote Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Just actors promoting their fucking music or uh, movies and musicians promoting their music. And it was a place for like a lot of people to be creative. The people that made that app respectable for those like people to be like, oh, I want to make an account uh, were nobodies. You know, we were just a bunch of people that just wanted to make six second videos. You had comedy ones, you had artistic ones, mm -hmm. you had a whole plethora of it. It was TikTok before TikTok. It was TikTok before TikTok. You know, like Vine crawled so TikTok could walk and then fucking run with yeah. the ball yeah. all the way to the end. So, yeah. Like they yes. skipped everything. They did everything. Yes. Well, also, didn't Vine have that moment where all the people came together and they were like, pay us? Yeah, I wasn't one of those people. You but were? I wasn't. No, I yeah. wasn't. I wasn't. But like my brother was one of the biggest people on there. My brother. Oh, Michael. yeah. I read that. Yeah. He was uh, he had like 1.5 million followers on. Holy there. fuck. How is his content different than yours? Uh, family friendly. Shit. So did he Titties inspire you balls. kind of to get into it? He inspired me to get into it because I saw how much fun he was having. And I was like, I'm not having any fun in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, uh. I see all my friends succeeding at things and getting these degrees. And at that time, you're very influenced by what your friends are doing, yeah. right? So, like, when you're in your early 20s, you see your friends like, oh, like, oh, they live in the city. Like, that's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I live with my mom, yeah. you know? And it's like, you know, you start the to... The best Viners were with their parents, I 100%. feel like. 100%. <laughs> that was the funniest shit. And then, like, you kind of turn your parents into, like, characters yeah. and shit, you know? <laughs> and for me, I, I had this essence of... Being like, I want to do this as much as I can for as long as I can and see how much fun I have. Did you immediately get response from it? No, no. Uh, my brother was like always, it was kind of crazy. Like my brother was f more famous than I was, mm -hmm. you know, and people would always say like, are you like jealous of your brother? Like having this? I'm like, no, nah, because he does a completely different thing. Yeah. You know, like, I'm one like of you those, don't want to do what he's doing. I love to see people win. Yeah, I've always been Same. like that and I'm so happy. I don't know what wiring I've had in my head, mm -hmm. but honestly, I've never really been jealous of somebody's success. That's powerful. 